Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will discuss what is VDS, what is VDMS and what is VDMIS and how do you differentiate between these three. So let's get started. Starting with VDS, which is a requirement of SOLAS Chapter 5 Regulation 12. It says that vessel traffic services contribute to the safety of life at sea, safety, efficiency, navigation, protection of marine environment, adjacent to shore areas work sites and offshore installations from possible adverse effect of marine traffic. So as per SOLAS, a VTS would contribute to the safety of life, efficiency of navigation and protection of marine environment and the property around it. And in the second point it says that a contracting government may form a VTS where the degree of risk justifies such services in their area. Before I talk about the next point, let me clarify that VTS is like traffic light or traffic control on land so whenever there is an area where there is a lot of traffic and it is coming onto a single point then the government sometime decides to put a red light in that area to control traffic of one lane at one time and other lane at the other so similarly at sea if there is a point where the contracting government feels that there is a lot of risk to environment people place because of the traffic so to manage it effectively, they form a vessel traffic services. On land, forming such a system is fairly simple because it's your own territory, you can just do anything. But at sea, the contracting government has to plan, implement a VTS with due regards to the guidelines which are developed by the organization. The use of VTS can only be made mandatory in sea areas within the territorial sea of the coastal state. The question is, why would the ships follow a non-compulsory vessel traffic services which is not in the territorial water of a contracting government. And to make that happen, the contracting governments have been advised to secure the participation in and compliance with the vessel traffic services by telling the ships which are flying their flag to participate in it. So once a flag state informs a vessel that you should follow a certain VTS, they have to follow it. And finally, this is the right of a vessel that nothing in these regulations or guidelines adopted by the organization shall prejudice the rights and duties of the government under international law or the legal regimes of the strait used for international navigation and archipelagic sea lanes. So a contracting government can form a system of vessel traffic services in their area. However, such guidelines or the regulations of the vessel traffic services cannot take away the basic right of every vessel which is given to them under the UNCLOS. Let us now understand the role of VTS in improving the efficiency of traffic and protecting the marine environment. If a VTS is formed in an area, that area is now monitored. So every vessel which enters that area is being monitored through AIS, radars, by professional people ashore, like Singapore Strait, English Channels, all these areas have regions which are marked and vessels which are passing this area are need to report as required by the VTS. And VTS in return monitors each and every vessel and warns them if any special situation is developing. So this is basically the concept of the VTS. Now that VTS is clear, which is a requirement of SOLAS Chapter 5 Regulation 12, let me discuss what is VTMIS and what is VTMS. In a way, these two things are basically the same things because these two are the extension of vessel traffic services. And it happens in the form of integrated maritime surveillance, which incorporates other telematics resources to allow allied services and other interested agencies in the direct sharing of VTS data or access to certain subsystems in order to increase effectiveness of the port or maritime activity operation as a whole but that do not relate to the purpose of VTS itself. So to simplify this, a traffic light when it is put on a certain section of road, its purpose is to maintain the traffic in that particular area. However, what will happen if I start getting all this information from all the other areas and use it to improve the efficiency of the city traffic? That will be even better. And if I take a step further, share this information with the crime department, with the taxation department or whichever department is interested in it, 
there'll be a lot more information which they can use and improve the efficiency in their area. So similarly, a VTS has been formed in different areas. But what if I connect them, integrate them into a vessel traffic management system or vessel traffic management and information system? This is what is happening. Once a ship enters an area, they have a lot of information about that particular ship. How much cargo it is carrying? What is the draft of the ship? When it reaches another area, they have a lot more information. And all this information, when efficiently utilized, can create into a system which is your VTMIS. India has developed its own VTMS system, which was a great software developed by the DGLL and NTCPWC at IIT Chennai. This is installed in all major ports and narrow passages with dense shipping traffic. Self-reliance and huge saving in the foreign exchange and import due to this particular system. I hope all this information was useful for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for your exams and as always.